We are at RS Hahn & Son Sheet Metal in Easton, and uh, I am here with Mike Hahn, and RS Hahn Sheet Metal has been around for a while, impacting the area in a very positive way, and there's a lot of great history that goes along with it, and Mike Hahn, thank you for joining us on this program, and tell us a bit about RS Hahn & Son, because it has a lot of history, and it really has been around the Easton area for a long time. My granddad bought the business in 1904 from a fellow named Stephen Noggle, and uh, was located down on 1st Street in Easton. Uh, then later on they moved to Sickroof Street, uh, 23 North Sickroof. And in the early 50s we moved to 25 North 10th Street. And uh, then in 1983 moved out here to our four acre area here in Palmer Township, right on South 25th. So as growing up with this business, I suppose you have a lot of fond memories of uh, what goes on here. We've had a uh, had a lot of uh, great people work with us over the uh, over the years. We have a tremendous customer base, uh, awful lot of good customers, good friends. That uh, you know, we do all different types of sheet metal fabrication for, and we fab uh, steel from very light. Uh, steel and aluminum from very light gauges all the way up into uh, one and two inch thick now that we can water jet cut and uh, plasma cut with high definition plasma. That's a lot what you just said. We want to talk a little bit about it because my fond memories of knowing you are part of uh, our earlier days when we used to actually race cars. Yeah, we uh, used to make a lot of uh, parts for some of the stock cars. Uh, still do for some people that race uh, on some of the circuits around here. Um, we do all types of custom fabrication from anything from a uh, farmer that comes in and needs a little piece of angle iron to uh, uh, some people that are uh, building parts for anything from airplanes to the space shuttle to uh, all different types of uses. You have a lot of specialized equipment in the back there. Uh, take us on a little mental tour here and tell us what's back there. Uh, water jet is fairly new technology. Uh, and some of the uh, some of the equipment that we have is very specialized in that we do an awful lot of uh, uh, cutting of everything from very heavy plate to plastics to uh, uh, we've cut meteors we've uh, uh, cut all kinds of uh, steel piping and barrels uh, just about anything that that can be cut any way conventionally Waterjet does it better. You actually use a water spray or a water laser type? Yeah, there's an Ingersoll Rand uh, pump with an intensifier on it, it's a 50 horsepower pump, that puts out 55,000 pounds per square inch of water pressure. And drawn into that is a garnet or like a sand slurry that actually eats its way through the, uh, through the material uh, just the same way that a glacier eats its way over a long period of time. But all this is computer controlled, computer directed and driven. Um, and depending on the thickness and the type of material, the speeds will be different. That's amazing. Now I know everything, you know, evolves with technology, but some things remain the same. I mean, cutting metal, bending metal, you bend the thickest metals and the thinnest, don't you? Yes, we do. We, uh, our uh, shearing capacity is up to 10 feet of quarter inch mild steel. Uh, we also, as other computer-generated cutting, we do uh, high-definition plasma cutting, which is much faster than water jet, but not quite as accurate. Uh, we do an awful lot of water jet work for the machine shops, um, taking large billets that they have and making them do a size to where all they have to do is some minor finishing on them. Uh, we also make a lot of parts for the heavy truck industry. Um, we are a custom fabricator, a job shop, if you will, so that we don't do, uh, you know, runs of a half million parts or something, but uh, mo most things that we do are much more specific and smaller. Now, as we walk through the back, what are some of the things we may have not be talking about here that might be interesting to people? Do you have anything else we, we can talk about? Well, we have uh, two different shears for, uh, for our shearing capacity. We also have three power brakes. Um, the heaviest being a 175 ton, 12 foot, that we can bend 10 feet a quarter inch mild steel. We also use uh, some of the old world technology. The 10 foot handbrake that we have is still one that my grandfather 
had when he bought the business in 1904. And I know that there's uh, some pictures of his old shop back in 1925. I think that was the first time he could actually afford to have pictures taken. Who might be some of the customers? For instance, uh, a larger company that's renovating or doing any metal work, but perhaps the individual who just needs some quick fabrication? Yeah, you know, we, we do a tremendous amount of uh, small onesies, twosies, uh, for everybody from uh, some car fabricators to uh, uh, Alstom uh, power supplies. We build uh, stainless steel lagging that goes into uh, power plants all around the world. Um, we make an awful lot of uh, things for the plastics industry where they convey plastics from one machine to an extruder to, to become a, a finished product. We, we feel that we're very innovative. A lot of people will bring in a small sketch of something and say, can you do this? And that's the kind of thing that, uh, that we enjoy coming up with.